Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play Slay the Spire. We did okay yesterday. We won when I thought we shouldn't have. Would you win if I asked you to win? We also uh, ranked terribly, but a win's a win for me. So they recently did something, oh hey guys, uh, they recently did something in a new patch, which is that uh, you can have zero n positive things. It like it rolls the random positive modifiers and negative modifiers. So it's no longer like one guaranteed good thing, two things that are like suspect. Now it could be zero or it could be like all three being good, I think. That's what I got from the patch notes anyway. So we're starting with 50 cards. The map contains only one path, and whenever we add a card to our deck, add two additional copies. This is like, none of it's good, but none of it's bad, except a certain future, I guess, could lead to a situation that's a real problem. Um, but insanity tends to be really, really good. Hold up here. You're telling me I can't kill you. I can't kill you. That's so disappointing. Well, let's try it the old-fashioned way, then. Just wanted to see something like that. Play a Metallicize, play one of these. Three block at the end of our turn. So in my head, of course, I'm like, you know, the right way to play this was to play Bludgeon and then kill him next turn. But, I mean, that is right from a speedrun perspective at the very least, but not being in a speedrun perspective, not being able to kill him with the bludgeon guaranteed, I think we're much better off trying something like this. Due to zero damage reckless, or a zero energy reckless charge when vulnerability is irrelevant is really nice. Redraw status, draw a card. Hey cat, what are you doing here? Hey, get out of here. You silly boy. It's also non-attack cards getting five from that. Hey, these are irrelevant. I'm sorry I said get out of here, Ruka. I just meant get in the box. You've been a very silly boy today, okay? There you go. Animal abuse. Um, start here. This will kill you. And we'll heal almost to full. I'm fine with that. So whenever we add a card, it's going to add three cards. I think we want... <sighs> it's like, do we want to add everything? To try to force an archetype, or we want to add nothing? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. Um, so, I'm, like... I'm just gonna play the cards. I know that sounds like it's a meaningless sentence, but... I feel like the, the way forward from a strategery standpoint on this run is you look at it and you go... Um, if we can add a bunch of Mind Blasts and they're innate, then that's beautiful. Same thing for something like Perfected Strike. It probably sucks right now, but the fact that we had three of every card that we add means we can make Perfected Strike work, maybe. We should definitely take anything that gives us curses, except everything that gives us curses gives us three curses. So, yeah, in hindsight, not a great idea, now that I think about it. Yeah, you know, yeah, ain't, ain't that the truth. So I'm thinking I'm gonna let you hit me for five because I'm gonna heal up anyway. We, we seem to have a lot of cards that are like exhaust, so I'm not too worried about the curses yet, but you know, it's definitely debatable whether or not we should have done that. We'll think about it more for the future. Basically, I think I've found a starting line. I'd love to get three Mind Blast pluses, but for now, I'm completely content with this. This is probably the situation where you go, smack them, take an energy potion, smack them, take a little damage. That you're gonna heal up anyway. This deck seems really good right now. And the scores that you're seeing, I mean, the daily just rolled over. So I think it's one of those things where like, uh, Hear me out here. No, it's not good. Metallicize, True Grit, hit the wrong card. Wrong card died. Uh, the the scores that you're seeing, I'm not saying they're illegitimate. It's kind of like the only way a score would show up right now is if you, you royally screwed it up. So that is definitely the right play there. The fact that we have no unifying archetype is bad, but. 
it tends to be good. Can't guarantee a clash will ever work. Do we want to add three Infernal Blades? I mean, it's, it's always one attack for one energy, so... I think it tends to be good. Remove a card from my deck. Yes, please. For 50 gold, take one of my three curses, please, and I will never add more, I promise. If we get the drink from the Purifying Fountain, I'm happy, but... Alright, this guy... Is taking his toll on me. He said goodbye. Thing is, this vulnerability is meaningless. Seeing red is not even worth playing. None of this. Like, you could argue demon form, but the fact that we were able to do 40 damage, basically, on turn one is uh, extremely good. Your vulnerability is worn off. I prefer not to be weak. So I think we should... I just kill you with hemokinesis, but I can't. I think um, you want a hemokinesis, you want a pommel, and then hope for the true grit play. Let's go! He's gonna do a little damage because we skilled him up, but it's honestly not that bad, all things considered. Perfected strike. Frig. <laughs> I was like, Iron Wave is gonna get him. It didn't get him. Ah, it doesn't matter if we lose the curse here, though, because we only need to do two damage. I'm disappointed we took the damage, but hey, life goes on, right? Hey, you got a mic? Okay, he's dead. Not too bad. Extra strength is extremely good. Uh, I think, I mean, we, we don't dislike Shrug it off. We don't have the energy for this yet. I think Pummel is our best play, though. We have no innate cards, but we really, really, like, don't want to heal. We're going to heal again in just a second anyway, so, I don't know, you smith something. I The armaments... You're probably going to... It's like upgrading four cards if you get to play it, plus you get the block. That's just my feeling on that one. Our offering is probably a decent call as well. Blood Vial, I would describe it as like a 5 out of 10 relic for us right now. Hopefully we don't need it, but if we do need it, I guess we're glad to have it. Thankfully, this is gonna work. True Grit, it's hidden it occasionally, so I, I can't say uh, I'm disappointed in that. It would be nice to not have to put up any block on this turn, and thankfully, that's exactly how that situation's gonna go. Oop. Three. It's a lot of good stuff here. Three Carnages, three Inflames. Let's add three Inflames to the deck. Whenever we have, like, something multi-hit, we're probably going to be happy. I almost feel like True Grit being upgraded seems so stupid, but... So right off the bat, take a look here, because, you know, when you add these things to the deck, you can add multiples. I think Question Card... I think all three of them are good. Tori is probably the best, is my personal opinion. Question card could be amazing, I think, as well. And upgraded powers are nice. Especially because so many powers are innate. But... I gotta say that I agree with the way that they've set up the prices here. I think Tori is probably the best one, but I could be wrong. Give me an Inflame. Give me an Offering real quick. I can make you split, 100%. Fiend Fire will do 50 damage. That's, like, non-negotiable. We could also do 27 first. Follow it up with another 10 damage or this another 30 damage. We could hit you even harder. We'll take you down to nine. Two slime. Oh, net disregard. I was completely incorrect. Never mind. I think we are gonna take wild strikes to make the perfected even better. I think wild strike is fine in a deck like this. Two random attacks. <laughs> An upgraded perfected strike is great. Upgraded dropkick, gonna level with you. Didn't even know it existed. Um Can we make any power innate? Yeah, we can make brutality innate. It probably ruins our perfect fight. So I'm like skeptical. And yet somehow like still all in. I don't know, maybe we don't even want that. We, we want that with, like with rupture, but there's no guarantee that rupture even shows up. Give me seeing red is free. It's two free energy instead of one free energy. I mean, this run seems easy so far. So far. So we definitely want to play Brutality combined with Rupture. Warcry is free. 
Get out of here. Play Pommel? What are you drawing? Oh, right, of course. That makes sense. Sorry, I bothered you. So we're going to gain one strength a turn, uh, bare minimum, from Brutality plus Rupture. He's going to split either way. So probably you pull an Inflame Perfected Strike here. I did think about Barricade, but it, it's a really, really actually bad play. And we could slow play him here if we wanted to. Uh, we're definitely not going to perfect this, right? But we've done damage to ourselves. We haven't taken any damage from anything he's done. you got to think about score to some extent. You know I'm looking at this like... It's 56 damage. I think I could also just drink this, hit you for 37, and be fine. I don't know if it counts as perfect. I'd kind of like like a scorekeeper up here if possible. That might be uh, antithetical to the design procedure. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, first off, give me some strength. Thank you. Um, but exhaust one of these bad boys. I guess now we're just going for it. Yeah, so there goes the perfect. We probably should have saved the block potion in retrospect. But this run is way... We can't say way better. What we can say is that right now it's way faster. You do 30 damage for free. Then you only got to hit him for 21. Wild Strike. 34 damage for, for 2. Oh, it's double tap Twin Strike. You fool. We got him. We got him. Um... It's way faster than yesterday's run, at least. Usually that indicates way better. Do we like a feed? Do we like an exhum? I don't know, I tend to like feed. I think getting three of those in your deck is not bad at all. And I guess, uh... I mean, there's something to say about Runic Cube, but usually doubling relics is the way that I prefer to play the game. But I don't know long-term if we got much going for us here. We'll, we'll see. We got the same thing as just about everybody else that survived this far, I suppose. Not quite the same thing, but pretty close. 10 damage, dude. Really? Still hard to say no to, like, that play right there. We gotta get these other doubts out of here if possible. Like, it's not a complete deal breaker, but it's pretty terrible. 9 damage. Yeah, I can't make feed happen. Ah! It doesn't matter, because we're going to kill them next turn. If we just draw a feed, it's like a two and... Well, yeah, I'm not going to run the numbers. Mostly because I, I... At first I was like, it's very easy to run the numbers. Then I looked at it and I was like, I don't know about that. So at least we're taking no damage this turn, but we didn't make any forward progress. Fiend fire should be used as a finisher, I guess. It's, uh, you know, if you're exhausting things, it doesn't really matter. But we don't necessarily gain that much strength. I think Battle Trance is going to be a little better. So Fiend fire just gives us the most damage. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, so one curse in a 75 card deck means very little to me. So I think. It's, it's actually tougher than it looks. Because people are like, well, if you're going to play like Wild Strikes, you should definitely play Evolve so you get more draw out of it. I totally believe you. But at the same time, when I'm fighting this guy, and I know he puts up, you know, 3,000 block, like, why don't we just hit the crap out of him and possibly kill him in two turns instead of doing the whole, uh... Well, there's a good reason for you. Two wounds to your hand gain 20 block. Me like that right there. Um, might as well gain four extra block per turn. This guy it hits us for like twenty next turn, so 
Yeah, ten times two, rather. Bludgeon's not quite gonna finish the job. Fiend Fire. It, I, I can't remember if it exhausts this one, is the thing. You do 33 damage. And I can't play you. It's such a, such a delicate situation. Kinda hate it. Should have handled it differently. But you know what? We're learning how to play this insanity deck. It's an important step in every young man's life to figure out how to play the deck that's given to him by Mother Nature. That's what we're working out right now. Eh. Don't need any of that junk. Okay. You can be a real problem. We certainly want to upgrade Pommel. Don't really want a Reckless Charge. Armaments Plus. Lovely choice. Um, pop that in there. You'll finish off with a... What? Seven block? Or weak? Weak is probably way better for us. He's dealing 15 damage still. It's alright. This... Remember, the whole thing about what we got going... Oh, Tori for one. But the whole thing we got going on here is we get better the more elites we fight. So you definitely want to pummel the Christ out of this guy. And then 9 block or 10 block? It's a very tough choice. I think I'm going to go 9... <laughs> Just kidding. We have fun here. Um, the decision makes itself a lot of the time. Don't think I can kill you. Well... No, I actually can't kill you. Um, I was just trying to make feed work. Maybe worth trying the potion. You really... Okay, he, actually, hemokinesis... Pummel. Uh, let me try. Start with hemokinesis. Pummel's gonna be weird from an armor standpoint. No, 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 it's... It's 19 damage, you're good. Okay. We got three extra HP probably won't make much of a difference, but why not try, right? And you want perfecteds or twin strikes? I think you want perfecteds. Uh, they scale with themselves, and they're much more useful. Because our strength is only plus one right now, so Twin Strikes are okay. But not as useful as a uh, as every single Perfected thus far. So it's a Whirlwind, okay. Feed costs two, that's pretty bad. Reaper for zero is okay. And then... I don't have the energy for that anymore. It hits you for twelve. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Turns out I probably should have played Power Through. Still pretty bad. Um, two energy to use two Hemokinesi? <laughs> I think you'd rather just do something like this. I mean, you know we're going to get hit here. Like, there's no choice really in the matter for us, but hey, it gives us a good excuse to rest for once. Be a great turn to get a kill, and we are gonna be there. Absolutely. Our whole deck is gonna be perfected strikes at some point, and you know what? I think I'm okay with it. Every single one of them does like 40 damage for two energy right now, and they just get better and better. If we can start to have four energy per turn, we're gonna be even better. Okay, so start here, because you can get into some five energy. Okay, so like two of you are definitely dead. The only question is what do we do with our remaining one energy? Gives us how much strength? Four strength. Three strength. So this would be 45 damage. 40, 46 damage. Um, I think we, we just want to use a strike. Or like a, an attack, I should say. So like, you gotta go. Crap on you. Uh, you go next. It's a really, really good start. If I'm being 100% honest with you, I think it's conceivable we could hit the point where our perfected strikes are dealing like 60 or 70 damage each by the time we hit the end of the run. Well, um, this will kill you. Then we drop one of these on you. It takes seven. Or exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain five block for each. Where's the fun in that? Uh, 
We're probably resting right after this, so I'm just gonna hit. We're only taking seven. No big deal. We get a wound, right? Like, literally, actually, no big deal. So, two relics coming right up. More perfecteds, please? Ooh, okay, bottled flame. Choose an attack card. At the start of each combat, this card will be in your hand. Perfected strike plus. Excuse me, there we go. Welcome. Runic Dodecahedron is good if we don't take damage. I don't know if we really want three flexes in the deck, but we tend to not play our whole hand right now, so I think that's a relatively good axiom for adding more. And now we're going to have four energy per turn, which is two perfected strikes, and one of them is guaranteed because of its innateness. So I'm pretty excited, and I think we've we've made a lot of progress here. And Enloth hungry. Feed Enloth. What do you give me again? I'll lose Tori. I'll try it. Triples the chance of receiving rare cards as monster rewards. Maybe worth it, maybe not. Time will tell. We don't play that many powers. Give me a gremlin. I, I think I overrated, but... The chance to, like, kill an enemy with Perfected, get one energy back, and play a second Perfected feels real nice right now. 65 damage. So you're actually dead. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Well, um... We almost never handle it like this, but... We're gonna kill the more annoying enemy first because of the most incredible, uh... Infernal Blade we could have ever asked for, and uh, you're, you're still dead. Whoa, this is really good all of a sudden. If it doesn't have Strike in the title, I'm not taking it. This is what, you know, you commit to an archetype, and it is, it has met me in the middle here. There's no question about it. So we got four energy. I don't think we have enough damage to kill you. You're very lucky. Well, this is going to Gremlin us, so let's start there. Pummel is still 24 damage, which is pretty good. I think we'll just try it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my potions for now, and then I'm going to hit you for another... Yeah, we might as well, right? We're going to take 10, and I prefer not to, because again, that puts us in a weird spot for Runic Dodecahedron. But, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Hmm... Only does 34 damage. I think we gotta try to make feed work here. It's a good start. 37 damage. You got 64, 37. So we need 14 damage out of one card, one energy. And that's like, that's it, right? Or can we even get, no, I'm still looking at it. I'm like, we can't get there. We can kill you, so it's not bad. But I, I don't think I could get feed to work there. Um, even Sword Boomerang, you know, I don't think it's ener energetically worth what we'd be paying for it right now. Receive a Relic, maybe become Cursed. Let's do it. Let's go. Now when we get Curses, we get 18 HP. Which our deck can actually probably completely sustain. We're resting instead of upgrading because one energy is so valuable that we'd like to start there. And he's not attacking on turn one. So it's a pretty easy first turn. Hit you with a little Inflame. Might as well play Metallicize and a 63 damage Perfected Strike Plus. Now he starts to bring out the trash, and this is where you want to draw two Perfected Strikes. We got one. Start a little. Okay, Thunderclap, dude. Sign me up. Um, start with another one. A little Blood for Blood. 21 damage. Actually, 31 damage. Um, oh, we know we got a Perfected, so like, one of you's done. Gremlin comes back. Uh, I guess just inflame blood for blood. You get another kill. It's gonna gremlin you again. Be a quick little hemokinesis, and then we'll throw brutality on just for good measure. This guy's done. Like he's actually dead as heck. And I have a hard time believing we could lose this run. Probably said that about 400 times in my life before. Um, 28 damage. That's extremely solid. In my life, I, I, what I mean to say is in Slay the Spire. I, there's not very many times in my life where I thought I couldn't die and then ended up dying. I continue to exist. At the present moment, at the very least. So he hits me with every debuff under the sun. 
but he has no chance to kill me. He has a chance to hurt me a great deal. I don't know, dude. I'm already vulnerable. Should hit him. Hit him for 20. And I think we'll just... It's not quite gonna finish it, but... Could be worse. Okay, now I'm starting to not be as cocky as I was a little earlier, but I still think we're probably fine. More elites would be nice. You know, take advantage of this, like, Black Star Snowball we can get going on. Brutality's kind of weird here, right? Like... I don't know if I want to lose that much HP. I think we'll probably skip that one, unfortunately. Sneko, unnecessary. Healing for 10 would be good, but I think we should add potentially 30 cards to our deck. Let's start here. Don't love it, but for zero, why not? Hemo, I don't think is good enough yet. Just be cool. Perfected Strike Plus. I think I'm okay with the cleave, but perfected strike plus. So I already think it's worth it. I was thinking about a hemokinesis, but why thin the, the deck, right? And then, yeah, I think we're, even though we only added three and we didn't have singing bowl or anything like that, I think it's totally worth it. I want to take a quick look. Well, you know, we'll just see how much perfected strike plus does when we draw it. And the timekeeper is not that bad of a draw right now. He's got nothing. All right, so we're dealing 79 damage with each perfected strike. Taking a little something like this. Uh, let's think it. Oh, 55 with our normal ones. A little something like this. A little something like this. Okay. Fun combat. I do think shrug it offs are fine. Add them in. I'm still waiting for that mind mind bullist. Mind bullist. <laughs> That's telekinesis, Kyle. So. Keeping, uh... Wow, I screwed it. That's hilarious. You know what? Accept that you screwed it. Pop this potion. You don't want to lose Runic Dodecahedron, is the thing. Um... I think we still like it. We never want to lose Runic Dodecahedron because it's two perfected strikes on the same turn. If we draw two perfected strikes. And the energy back via Gremlin Horn is so good. So we're back to five energy, so we can super afford to play that. Might as well split the difference then. Um, not quite as much damage as we'd like, but again, we just need to draw two perfected strikes, and we're good. kind of rare, it seems, to make, like, <laughs> a perfected strike work, a perfected strike deck work, I should say, when you start with no strikes, but we appear to have done the job just fine. Uh, enemies starting vulnerable is better than just about anything I could think of adding to this deck. It means that our first perfected strike is, like, 100 damage. He has 132 damage, actually. That's a, a ridiculous amount. I think I can... Ah, but if I Hemo you, I'm not getting anything. Just lose less HP. I guess I've kind of screwed it here, but it's okay. We did like, oh, it's okay, all right. We really... I know I've said this 20 times. Our fortunes live and die with Runic Dodecahedron to some extent. So we're going to pay close attention to that. Um, if we can't kill you this turn, which we definitely can. So if I weaken you... 18... It's going to be another... 5. Exhausted a perfected strike. That's a bummer. So Runic Dodecahedron is essentially gone. But this guy's vulnerable for 3 turns. Do me a favor. Give a little... Oh, baby, battle trains can't do it. Ah. You're gonna have to hit him. It's just science. He can't draw anymore, so we might just want to choose to take no damage. 
We're slowly weaning ourselves off of our uh, weakness here. And anytime we can duel perfect it and still do something else, it's a positive. That's exactly what's gonna happen right now. So, oh, never mind, he's dead. Okay, so we're back to full HP. It's non-negotiable. Again, like every, it's basically like having a mind blast. Now, we start with a perfected strike that deals 97 damage and enemies are vulnerable. So we just dust the dude right off the bat. Even the game was like, I didn't anticipate that. So I don't know, I, what do you do? Upgrade your other pommels? Like, or upgrade your other perfecteds? Like, it's actually a pretty sizable amount of damage each one gets. There's no point in resting there, so. Thread and needle is fine. This guy's gonna take a heck of a lot of damage right off the bat here. So, we'd really like to draw. There's no draw for us, unfortunately. Um, well, I think it's best to do this, and then this. We're getting enough block. Okay, we're good. I mean, we still did 208 damage to him in one turn. Considering the circumstances, that's not that bad. Let me start maybe with a, a draw. Okay, so I'm gonna... I think you choose not to go off on him. Just keep four energy, like... 14 damage is worth way less than one extra energy. As long as he's not hurting us, we don't really care that this takes a little longer, like... You can pretty much see the methodology for how we run this deck right now. Uh, play all of your perfected strikes whenever possible, and apart from that, don't do anything stupid. Yeah, like, it turns out that it works pretty well. Strawberry is okay. Dreamcatcher gives us more chances to add decent stuff to our deck, and again, at this point, even if there's cards that are good, I can't take them, because Perfected Strike is it's the be-all, end-all. I don't even know. Do I... Add a curse? That might not be that bad. Remove a card? Yeah, if you want, you can remove that final doubt for us that we almost never see. Honestly? No, absolutely not. Take my Berserk. It's actually, you're thin in my deck, I appreciate it. Now we're gonna rest, because the chance to get a, another perfected strike, or a strike of any kind, is extremely valuable. You guys are annoying, but I still uh, kind of live in the situation here where I'm like, there's nothing you can do to stop me, so... Definitely want to try this on for size. We got a Body Slam that does 16 damage. I was hoping for a little more. Um, Thorn Lords go first. Might as well Shockwave. They're dealing 14 damage. We're still going to take a hit. Start working on this guy. You know, I I thought about using a block potion. This is the very wrong time for it. We're going to we're going to win today's daily. Is really how it looks at least. We don't tend to play that many cards per turn, so I don't feel like we're we're gonna eat it too badly against, uh... Against the Time Lord. Lose 4 HP. We can definitely afford to lose 4 HP. Searing Blow is 13 damage. We can kill you, you don't explode. Get energy back. Perfected Strike. You're dead. Okay, we're back to full HP, which is where we want to be. And no, that's fine. And oh my god, we're on the boss already. 34 minutes into the video. Rest perfected strike, please. <sighs> Thunderclap, what a rip. We should have added a twin strike. But, you know, not that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things, I'm willing to say right now. He's not hitting us turn one. This is an extremely big mistake on his part. Why? Because we're going to have full energy. His debuff is irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. We're gonna have full energy next turn, too. And 
We're just trying to draw perfected. Because we didn't draw perfected, I'm going to play two of these. Ah, it's not as good. Don't even play Anger, dude. You can play Feed. Is this like he's... Now you've done it! <laughs> yep. So that's like his halfway point in the fight. Now he's going to start hurting us. And, hey, you know, the time has come. It's fair. Start with some block. We weaken him. Stealing 15, we're at 16, as far as I'm concerned. It's a good time to spot weakness. Really, we're preserving our four energy, and then we have a turn eventually in which we have two perfected strikes, and he's nearly dead, you know? We only get to play two cards this turn, so this is a good turn to... Well, sure, it's a good turn to kill him. I guess I could be okay with that. Definitely perfected that boss. Deal 881 damage. It's not an amazing score, but keep in mind a lot of people are going to have uh, scores that are... You're bound by the chain to some extent. Sure, we could have gone faster, and we could have not taken damage against more of the bosses. But I gotta say, an acceptable score to start with here. There are gonna, People are going to pass us. I don't expect to be number one, or even like on the top 15 pages. But we're not too far off today. I think we played well. We committed early. Hey! Inverniaco, how's it going? I'm just waiting. I want to see my friends' names and make fun of them. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Good run.